Okay, so let's go over four examples for everything we've done so far this chapter to help with any confusion you may have. I'm gonna need your help for electric negativity numbers, all right? Um, so let's start off with iodine and bromine. All right, so iodine looks like this, bromine looks like that, and we just make a connection between the two. Okay, what's iodine's electronegativity? 2.5. 2.5, okay, and then bromine is? 2.8. 2.8, okay, we subtract, you get 0 0.3, right? Yeah. Nonpolar, right? <laughs> First thing we found out. Nonpolar. Okay, great. Now, let's check some other things out. For this, we can't do an AXE pattern for it because it doesn't have a central atom. But what's the shape for it? Linear. Linear. All right, we can't do an angle. It's not hybridized, all right, because it's not one of the three things we're looking for. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, structural fo formula. That's going to be just I dash BR. You just take away all the unpaired electrons. Okay, any questions with that one? No? Okay. Let's look at the next one. Now we have carbon, hydrogen, and bromine. Out of those three, what do you think is going to be the central atom? Carbon. Carbon, right? Because it has the most unpaired electrons. It has four. Everything else has um, less or one. So with this, another thing that happens is you want to kind of group similar things together. It doesn't really matter for this one because it's three and one. But if it was like two and two, you'd, you'd put the similar ones next to each other. So I'm gonna put the three hydrogens together and the bromine, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. It doesn't matter where you put the bromine, all right? Because if you just rotate it, it should look the same, all right? So here's our Lewis structure for it. Um, AXE, what's the AX for this one? AX4, which is? Good, tetrahedral. All right, angle, 109.5, good. Okay, so you should figure these out first. Since it's also tetrahedral, it's gonna be sp3 hybridization, all right? Because this just goes together with it now. So whenever you see AX4, you think of these other three things as well, all right? Okay, now that we have the shape, does this look like it's tetrahedral? Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. If it wasn't pretty good, you'd have to rearrange it and then figure out polarity, okay? Because it could affect things. All right, so let's throw in some numbers. We have 2.1 for hydrogen, 2.5 for carbon, and then um, 2.8 for the bromine. All right, right, 2.8, okay. And then these hydrogens, we don't even have to think about because they're gonna cancel out, right? So this is the only, part we're going to worry about. Now let's draw some arrows. For this year, we're just going to kind of think of it as, all right, if this arrow goes in that direction and then this one goes also, we're just going to combine those, all right? We're just going to put them all together. So overall, what's happening to the charge? Well, it's increasing. Uh, electronegativity is moving down towards that bromine. So if we have 2.1 and 2.5, what's the difference there? 0.4, okay which is in the polar range, all right? And then the difference between these two is 0.3, not exactly in the polar range, but because we have them both kind of going in this direction, let's just make it simple. We'll say, all right, it's 0.7 going in that direction. Let's call this polar, all right? And that's fine for this year, all right? So we're gonna call this polar. All right, it's polar. That means we need dipoles. So where do we put them? Slightly negative, yep, near the bromine, and then slightly positive near this hydrogen. All right, and that's pretty much it for that one. All right, anything else we need to add? Um, structural formula, what would, look, what would it look like for this one? It would just kind of be a little bit cleaned up and then structural, it wouldn't have the electrons in there, so it would look like that. Okay, any questions with? Okay, so here are the second two. Um, we have carbon, we have two carbons, a hydrogen and a chlorine, all right? What do you think the central, car uh, central atom's gonna be? The central carbon, right? Carbon. 
Garvin, Garvin, Garvin. All right, so we know they're gonna get bonded together. If you look at what's left, we have two more atoms, right? We have a hydrogen and a chlorine. So for this, just think, all right, nature's gonna split them up. So just put one on one side, put the other one on the other side, and then bond them together. Because you know they have to be attached at least once, right? Hydrogen can only bond once, chlorine can only bond once. Okay, a couple more dots. What do we do with these? Triple bond, yep. Okay. So we have this triple bond here. Now let's look at the AXE pattern for it, the central atoms. Um, what is the AXE pattern for this carbon? AX what? Good, AX2, all right, so it's AX2. That means it's triatomic, linear, and the angle, 180. And now the hybridization is what? Just SP. Yep, SP. All right. So we have all of this. Does this look linear? <coughs> yeah, it's good enough for us right now. It's fine. And then this carbon, when we look at it, it's A, X, X. So it's AX2 as well, right? So it's going to be the same thing, which means does this part look linear? Yes. All right, cool. Now we can think about the polarity of it because the structure is pretty much the way it should be. All right. Okay. So we need some numbers. Hydrogen we know is 2.1, the carbons are 2.5, and what is our chlorine? 3 point what? Zero? Okay, 3.0. So going towards the carbon is 0.4, there's not much happening here, but then going in this direction we have 0.5, right? All right, so this is gonna be polar because everything's kind of going towards that chlorine, right? Um, and then since it's polar, we're gonna have this slightly negative and this one slightly positive, all right? Any questions with that? Can you see how it's just, the electrons are going towards that side, so that's gonna make it negative, all right? And then the opposite's over here. Since they're going away from that one, this side's gonna be slightly positive, all right? If we wanted to clean this up, it would look like Like this, and if we wanted the structural formula for it, it would be very similar, but it would be like that. All right, we got everything. Good. Any questions? Yeah. So this would be polar, right? Yeah, this one would be polar. Yep, exactly. Because you can see the numbers are increasing on one side; they're the highest. There's a difference of at least 0.4 going towards that side. It's going to be polar. All right. Okay, CO2. What's the central atom for this one? Carbon. All right, so we have carbon, oxygen, oxygen. All right, how do I know to split them up? Again, remember, nature is going to usually balance things out. All right. So here we have carbon bonding there, and then we have this other oxygen on this side. We can put the double bonds here. Let's put double bonds down here, single and single. All right, so we know this is gonna bond as well. And you can see that there's two here that can bond and then two up here that can bond, all right? So if you kind of like had both of the doubles on the top, just erase one and kind of like flip it. So then you can do this double bond, which would look like this here, all right? Everybody okay with that one? Yeah? Okay. Central atom is the carbon. What's the AXE for this one? AX2, good. So it's gonna be the same as all of this. Triatomic linear, 180 SP, right? Okay, um, cleaning this up. It's gonna be carbon double bonded to oxygen. Whenever you have a double bonded oxygen, the electrons are gonna have that funky kind of angle to it, all right? Same thing over here. All right, so that looks good. Um, let's talk polarity. Carbon is 2.5, oxygen is 3.5? Yeah. yeah, thank you. And then 3.5. All right, so we're going 1.0 in that direction, and then we're going 1.0 in that direction, right? So what's gonna happen? They cancel out. 
So this is going to be nonpolar. All right. And if we want to do the structural formula for it, it would just be without the dots. All right. Structural, Lewis, and then everything else is the same as over here. Any questions with that one? No?